The new Premier League season is just around the corner and Chelsea fans are eagerly waiting to see if their team can bounce back from last season's disappointing sixth place finish. Let's be real, a top half finish just isn't good enough for a team with Chelsea's pedigree. We're talking about one of the big six here, a team that's supposed to be challenging for titles, not just scraping into the top half. We've all seen it before. A team with Chelsea's history and resources should be consistently competing for the top spots not struggling to keep up with the likes of Liverpool and Manchester City. But last season was a harsh reality check and it's clear that there's still a lot of work to be done. So what are the chances of Chelsea finishing in the coveted top four this season? Unfortunately, I think it's unlikely. Here are just a couple of reasons why. Firstly, Chelsea have a new manager at the helm again. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sometimes a new manager can bring a much needed boost to a team. Players want to impress, and there's a renewed sense of energy and purpose. But let's be realistic, it's not always that simple. Especially when you've got a young squad like Chelsea's, it takes time for a new manager to implement their ideas and get the team firing on all cylinders. And if pre-season is anything to go by, it's clear that Enzo Maresca still has a lot of work to do. One win against Club America doesn't exactly inspire confidence, especially when you consider they lost to Celtic and Manchester City. And drew with Wrexham and Inter Milan. Those results might not mean much in the grand scheme of things, but they do suggest that Chelsea are still a work in progress. Secondly, there's the issue of experience, or lack thereof. With Raheem Sterling aside, Chelsea's squad is looking pretty green. Now, I'm not saying these young players aren't talented, they absolutely are, but talent only gets you so far in the Premier League. You need experience, grit and determination to succeed. And with Thiago Silva gone and Rhys James spending more time on the treatment table than on the pitch, it's hard to see where that leadership is going to come from. Chelsea's struggles don't end with their inexperienced squad and new manager. They also have a bloated squad that's bursting at the seams. With 42 players on their books, According to Transfermarkt, it's clear that they need to trim the fat. Having a large squad can be useful for keeping players fresh, but Chelsea's is simply too big. This can lead to an unsettled dressing room, with players complaining about lack of playing time. And when players are unhappy, it can affect the team's performance on the pitch. Imagine being a player at Chelsea, knowing you're one of 42 players fighting for a starting spot. It's a stressful situation, and it can't be easy for the players to stay motivated. And what about the ones who don't make the cut? They'll be left to rot in the reserves, wondering what they did wrong. But that's not all. Chelsea's club hierarchy seems to be lacking a clear direction. When you look at top clubs, you can usually see a clear plan in place. They've got a defined style of play, a clear transfer strategy, and a sense of identity. But at Chelsea, it's hard to tell what they're trying to achieve. The constant managerial changes and disorganized recruitment policy suggest a lack of cohesion at the top. Without a clear footballing philosophy and identity, it's hard to see how Chelsea can achieve success in the Premier League. They're like a ship without a rudder, drifting aimlessly through the season. And when you're competing against clubs who know exactly what they're doing, it's a recipe for disaster. Lastly, let's not forget, other clubs are improving too. Arsenal, City, Liverpool, Tottenham and Manchester United are all gunning for the top spots. Even wildcards like Aston Villa and West Ham can't be ignored. These clubs have a clear direction, solid squads, and a sense of identity. They're not going to make it easy for Chelsea to break into the top four. In fact, it's hard to see how Chelsea can compete with these clubs when they're still trying to figure out their own identity. Until they get their house in order, it's unlikely they'll be able to mount a serious challenge for the top four. The competition is just too fierce, and Chelsea are still too disjointed.